What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, I'm Walking Dead. Someone I brought, also known as PT. I don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead and Breaking Bad being the same universe. Well, at least in the same universe, as well as Fear of the Walking Dead. But the Walking Dead universe and the Breaking Bad universe are definitely connected in so many ways. So obviously, spoiler warning for Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead, and Better Call Saul, as we're going to talk about things from each of the shows, spoiler warning. But first guys, I know I say it every video, but it's important for us to achieve that goal, so why not help us out and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button, it helps out the channel in so many different ways. And for those who want to donate to the channel to keep us going and growing, we have a Patreon, we have a membership program that you can access by hitting the join button. Also, we do live streams where you can do super chats, but the other thing that you can do is pick up a copy of my book series, Fight For Us, available now on Amazon in paperback and digital format on Kindle. Hope you join the fight and pick up your copy today. But like I said, Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead and Better Call Saul and Fear the Walking Dead have some connecting points and some pretty big connecting points. The Walking Bad, it connects in a lot of different ways and if you know both shows, you probably know what I'm gonna talk about but we have some new things and also the panel question that Robert Kirkman asks, did Walter White's blue meth start the zombie apocalypse? And the first thing I brought this up a while ago is people like, well, everybody's infected. Did everybody have the blue meth? Obviously not, but it's gotta start somewhere. And also Robert Kirkman confirms it right here. Enjoy. What are the cause of the Walker virus is And there you go, clearly blue meth in the Walking Dead universe from the other AMC show, Breaking Bad. So that connects that big time in a big way. It's clearly there, right there. Also, when Beth and Daryl were talking in their episode, that's basically them together, Daryl talks about a skinny tweaker dealer that sounds a lot like Jesse Pinkman or maybe even Skinny Pete but the blue meth was there. And I find it very interesting that Daryl really describes one of the dealers from Breaking Bad. There's another connecting point for you. But Robert Kirkman recently came out and said, what caused the walkers in The Walking Dead? Space bacteria, space junk, sp something from space. But I still think that it makes more sense to have the connecting point of Breaking Bad's Walter White's blue meth be the start of it. Because on Fear of the Walking Dead, this is patient zero. Some people are gonna disagree with me, but it is. Fear of the Walking Dead is before the Walking Dead and she's infected and she's the first person that we see and she's doing drugs with Nick, so there you go. Also, in a later season of Fear of the Walking Dead, they have lyrics of Heisenberg, so there's more connections with that. And also, they're in Mexico, that's a big part of Breaking Bad. And of course, the connections of the RVs. There are different RVs, that's for sure, but it's one of those things that it's pretty funny that you have an RV in Breaking Bad, and then you have Dale's RV. Now, they're not the same by any means, but I just saw a certain connecting point between the two. You know, an RV would be pretty important in a zombie apocalypse. It'd be pretty cool, so maybe it's a little reach there. But let's talk about Lydia. Now, Lydia is pretty important because, one, the Lydia song right here is in Breaking Bad, also, Walking Dead. The Lydia character is, you know, pretty similar in look at least to the Lydia character on The Walking Dead. One, they have the same name. Also, the same song is in the phone ringtone with Lydia and also the song that Alpha sings to Lydia as a child. And the fact that they're both named Lydia. What are the odds of that? Well, of course, they can be two different women, two different names, but the fact that they look pretty similar in a look, you know, maybe it's a reach, but I see some similarities there. Lydia, oh Lydia. And definitely, if you know both shows, you know that the red challenger is in both shows. To me, it's the same exact car. 
And again, they're both AMC shows, so why not? And there, are, there have been similar props in both shows. The same coffee maker is used by Milton and Gail. Well, I guess it's a coffee setup, not a coffee maker, but we all know that the Challenger was in season one of The Walking Dead and in Breaking Bad. Now this is a new one and you have to watch Better Call Saul because Simon is in both shows. Now he's called Sopcheck or Mr. X in Better Call Saul, but he's Simon on The Walking Dead. Has a similar look and again, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are before The Walking Dead. So was this Simon's job and Simon's career before he met Negan and everything? It fits. It definitely fits. Sopcheck, Simon, man, I see the similarities. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty cool that the actor, Stephen Ogg, was in both shows. So I see a connection there. Also in season 10 of The Walking Dead, what are the odds that Daryl and Carol bring up the idea of going to New Mexico? Out of all the states in the United States, they pick New Mexico. And that's where Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul takes place. What? Interesting, right? Also, there's some kind of similarities between the personality of Negan and Walter White. But if Walter White was on The Walking Dead, how do you think he would be? Would he be a savior? Would he be a villain? Would he be a good guy? Is he someone that you would want on your team? Would Rick take him down? And it's definitely one of those things that we'll never know but it's fun to discuss. Imagine Walter White in The Walking Dead. Man, that would be pretty crazy of a character on that show. But same universe? I see a lot of similarities to it, right? Look at all the different things that I mentioned in the video. Did I miss anything? Did I say anything incorrectly about Fear of the Walking Dead and Heisenberg and everything there? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. I see a lot of similarities, and I think the universes of Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead and Fear of the Walking Dead are connected. Thank you guys, stay safe, and tell them, Daryl. Oh, we love you guys.